Hey guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Ivan Meneses and I'm super excited to finally be on YouTube. Anyway, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I will try to upload at least two times a week. Today, I wanna to talk about something that I get asked a lot. How do I make a guy obsessed with me? So here are eight non-toxic things that will make him head over heels obsessed over you, coming from a guy's perspective, of course. Picture this, you like a guy, maybe he likes you too, maybe he doesn't know you yet, maybe he's your boyfriend, maybe he's someone that you admire from afar. How do you get the guy, but not just get him, but actually captivate him? So here's the first tip, because I think this is the most important one. Be obsessed with yourself first. We're not talking arrogant or self-centered, but what I do mean is that the more you embrace your own self-love, the more that you love yourself, the more you're going to be able to give out and receive as well. Confidence is so sexy and it radiates when you step into any space. Trust me, people feel that and it's the most attractive thing. When you love and obsess over yourself, you understand your value as well, which will really help you with my next tips. Two, let him be your hero. If you want a guy to obsess over you, you have to allow yourself to tap into your feminine energy. Ask for his help, fake on orgasm, let him have the executive decision. Tell him that you feel safe around him. Doing these things allows a man to tap into his masculine state. And trust me ladies, that stuff, it's super addicting to us. Okay, let me be clear here, letting him be your hero isn't about you dumbing yourself down. It's about recognizing that he needs to feel like there's room in your life for him and that in some way you complement each other. When you let him be the man he was designed to be, when you let him feel the manliest when he is around you, trust me, he will not be able to get enough of you. Three, be vulnerable. Your mission here isn't to make him like you a lot. It's to make him obsess with you and only you. This requires a real depth to your relationship that transcends the shallow and creates a special bond. You'll need to find ways to work through any fears you may have. You don't have to reveal everything all at once. Just gently allow your walls to come down. Remember, vulnerability is an important part of making a man fall head over heels in love with you. Our fourth tip, say thank you and say it often. Just two little words that have a huge impact. He needs to feel appreciated. I feel like in today's world, most women just feel so entitled and to me personally, it's the most unattractive thing. And unfortunately, the people closest to us can be the ones we forget to show this appreciation. When he does something for you, say thanks no matter how little it is. And guess what? The more you say thank you, the more nice stuff he will keep doing because his efforts are being rewarded and recognized by you. Five, be a team. To me, being a team is about being equal in your relationship. That's not always necessarily going to look 50-50 straight down the line, but a partnership means you both get a say, you both make the decisions, and both of you will give and take. Tip number six, show him respect. It's not enough to feel like you do respect him. You have to actually show him. You can do this in many ways, by listening to him, asking his opinions and feelings, not undermining his choices, trusting him, being mindful of how you speak to him, and being reliable are just some of the ways you can show him you respect him. Seven, mirror his effort. This doesn't mean playing games or playing hard to get. This means giving back exactly what you're getting from him. So if he pulls back, so do you. If he increases his effort, so do you. This way, you're never giving too much of yourself and receiving little in return. You're always matching energy and reflecting his same effort back to him. Eight, stop playing games. Trust me, a high value man will see this right away and it's so unattractive. The guy of your dreams doesn't have time to play games. He's got places to go to, businesses to build, connections to nurture. If a relationship is built and based upon games, if it creates anxiousness, fear, doubt, and uncertainty, and if that's all the basis for your attraction towards each other, then we don't want it. And trust me, you don't want that either. A high value man would want a high value female to compliment him. As the saying goes, behind every successful man is a woman. That is absolutely true, guys. And the tips I gave above will help you become the woman for us. Now picture it. 
you and him walking hand in hand, and he's utterly obsessed with you, and he can't take his eyes off of you. Well, you know who to thank. Thanks for watching, and I hope these tips can help you secure the man of your dreams. It's our very first one. Let us know how you like it, and perhaps comment below for future video ideas as well. We're going to keep experimenting here and look for a format that will work for you guys. But till then, I'll see you guys on the next one.